Hello everyone, it is Lori and I am here to do your uplifting reading all about you. I hope you guys are all happy, healthy, and having fun like I like to say. I know you guys are, uh, what was I going to say? I know you guys are something. I don't know what you guys are. You tell me. <laughs> okay, looks like I'm going to have to go straight across here. So we'll do this uh, six cards this way today. I guess we don't have to be up quite that high. All right, let's see who we are focusing on today. All right. What makes you truly magical? The Seven of Cups. You see opportunity no matter where you look. Even, it, no, especially in situations where everyone else says, oh, that's a, that's a lost cause, that's trash, that's no good, that's never going to work. Oh, no, 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 no. You find the opportunity in that situation. Now, granted, it may not work what they're saying, but you're going to take whatever they're discarding and you will find an opportunity in that to make something better. That's pretty cool. Now, I'm. this is going to pertain to a lot of different um, things in life that that could affect, could um, be talking about. But I did just get an image of somebody taking... I, I, I have a, an artist that I follow... Um, and an image of his piece of artwork came to mind. And it's just one image. There's so many. But he makes statues, like wild statues of wildlife, deer, um, bears, different things. Okay, moose, I don't know, geese. Anyways, he makes these really large statues by welding together little metal washers. Okay? So it's kind of like... These were maybe repurposed. Do you see what I'm saying? So I can't imagine that he just went out and bought all these washers when he first started. He may have to do that now. But I'm thinking that he was probably, he came across a, a huge amount of washers. Or somebody says, we can't use these. They're defective. Um, and he says, I'll take them, I'll take them, I'll take them. Do you know what I mean? That type of energy of I you seeing the opportunity even when other people are like, this is just trash. This has got to go. This is waste. We can't use this. This won't work. Okay. So it, that's just one thing that came to mind. That was just an example that Spirit gave me to give to you. Um, but you, you find the opportunity no matter what the situation. In fact, because of the situation. Awesome. Oh, my little sandhill crane downy feather. It was gladly given to me one day when I was out there. Caesar shook and out came his feather. And he just looked at at the feather as it fell to the ground and looked up at me and then looked back down at it. And I said, is that for me? And he looked back down at it and I picked it up and he didn't bite me. So <laughs> I said, okay, well, thank you. Definitely a message there. All right. So what did you um, accomplish that we should know, that you should be proud of and we should know about? The Five of Cups here, Regrets. You found balance, harmony, peace. After a very difficult situation, full of regrets, missed opportunities. Things that really, and I'm getting a series of things, like not just one thing, but like one thing happened, you get yourself feeling good again and all of a sudden boom something else and then you feel good and then boom and I'm talking this could take months years wow to have gone through okay this was not a quick quick happening it could have been a week it could have been a couple of weeks could have been a couple of months of sheer regrets and it's almost like oh my gosh how could I have missed that how could I have not seen that why didn't I take action on that but you know what? You, you That's hindsight. That's all hindsight. And you finally came to the realization that that's exactly what it is and that you could not do anything different than what you did. 
Okay, so you got yourself finally in full alignment here. You've let those regrets go. And you're focusing on staying healthy and happy and in alignment. Trusting your inner power, being peaceful. I'm also hearing you, you definitely brought in some sort of um, meditative energy. Does not mean you meditate in a traditional sense where you sit down on the ground cross-legged and you know ohm and stuff like that your meditation may be visiting with some people or it might be going fishing i feel like it's a physical activity that you do that is your personal meditation okay maybe this whatever this is that you physically do stems from the regrets of not doing these things in the past. Oh, cool. All right, so you definitely accomplished getting yourself into alignment, moving past those regrets, finding your successful way to um, bring peace, harmony, and balance into your own personal life in your unique form of meditation. I love that. All right, what do we have here? This is your impact on the people around you, the sun. People just think that, I just heard the sun rises and sets on you, okay? So, like, they can count on you. You're reliable, you're dependable, um, you're truthful, you're honest. You're not hiding, out, you're not hanging out at night um, doing dishonest things. You're always out in the open. Everything you do is pretty much above board. Beautiful impact. I mean, to be that respected. I'm hearing respected, too. Some of you may be a, an expert in your field and people come to you for answers. This doesn't feel metaphysical at all. I'm getting like, you might be an expert fisherman. And people actually come to you to get advice on how do I catch that elusive marlin? Or um, where's the best place in this area for me to go and catch what I'm looking for? Or what, what type of um, line should I be using? I, you've got an expertise in something that you are like the go-to person. And that doesn't mean it's just fishing. It can be anything in life. It can be about how to make clothing. It could be how to um, grow a garden. It, but it's definitely, it's, it's definitely what I would call an important life skill. Okay, so even though a lot of people fish for pleasure, there's just as many people who fish for sustenance. And that may be why people actually seek you out for those answers. Are you a survivalist and you have the skills that people, you know, you may not advertise yourself as a survivalist, but you might be one and people just pick up on the fact that you have the answers, that you have the knowledge, the experience. I do see here too where people recognize that you have had your challenges in life, but you're pretty rock solid. You're, you're sturdy, dependable. Love this energy. All right, what's a talent or skill that you have that we should know about? The Four of Pentacles. Did I not just say this? You're, you're very down-to-earth, reliable, dependable. People can count on you, but people also treasure your opinion. Not just your opinion. It's not your opinion. It's your information. It's your knowledge. They really, really feel that that's crucial important very um worth okay you might even charge for your services okay you might okay using the um fishing example you might actually be the captain of a charter business okay and people will pay you for that information to go out because you know the places to go. You know what to do. You know, you know, you know. And people are willing to pay you for that because you're dependable. It happens time and time again. It's not a fluke. Okay. If, 
it could be about anything growing how to start a garden how to build a house how to do plumbing i really am getting survival real practical life knowledge here it could be um tech but i'm not feeling that at all but it could be okay don't don't discount that because that is a survival skill for some people. But I, I'm picturing if there were no computers, if there was no internet, if there was no electricity even, that you and whoever I'm focusing on here would still be able to survive and you would show other people how to do that too. And your information is so valuable, people would hire you for that information. Even before there's a crisis, okay? Very, very good. Beautiful energy. Nice skill, nice talents. And that goes for a lot of different areas. I mean, I hope you can understand how vast that is. All right. What is it that you do right now that you should never, ever stop doing? The Three of Cups, celebrating life, enjoying people, enjoying yourself. Going out there and being brave and courageous, but still being tender and gentle with yourself and other people. Yes, this is a skill that you have, okay? That is a, another talent or skill that you have. Your, tr your loyalty. You've got people trust you. And it's because you're big, you're brave, you're bold, you're courageous, okay? But you can be very tender, too. You're not going to harm anyone. You care for, you genuinely care for people. So if you're making money, it's not for the reason of making money. It might have something to do with it. But this is more a genuine trust bond between you and other people of wanting to help people to, to survive, to thrive, to do well on their own. Because you see the divine. You see the divine in everybody. So keep celebrating. Keep being that big courageous person who can honor the divine in everybody. Look at this. The Six of Cups. You, you definitely have a feeling for everyone around you of peace, of calm, of that security of home, of you know, home when you were in your safest place, wherever that was, okay? Some people, that wasn't your childhood. That wasn't your household that you grew up in. Wherever your most peaceful place was is the effect you have on other people. Yes, you definitely have a sense of whimsy. People, and I'm hearing it may come across in your humor okay so if you're a guy a sense of whimsy might be you've got a really light-hearted um humor if you're a female and you're a gardener you maybe have whimsical things in your garden or things that um other people would consider whimsical even though you find a practical purpose for that okay very nice i really like this reading this was completely different wasn't it this was def definitely unique. Whoever you are, I love this message for you. Don't forget, if it's resonating, go ahead, tickle, ooh, tap, or boop that like button for us, okay? For whoever we're honoring here today, for the message, for the channel, for me. I don't care. Will you boop that like button for me, please? Drop a comment, though, if this is you, because I really I really do think we need more people with these talents, these skills, this type of loving, caring energy of wanting to help other people to teach these survival skills to really, really want to help. Beautiful energy here. B-E-A, beautiful. All right, we are going to get you Enchanted Map oracle messages here what is up with that i started to reach for the spirit animal had them in my hand and spirit said nope we're going to try something different today all right let's see what we've got going on here don't forget to check the description box for personal readings for information about the channel how to join my email list all kinds of good information is down there 
don't forget to check that out. And of course, if you are looking for an awesome community, this community right here, the Uplifting Reading Community, is awesome. You guys are the ones that comment the most, interact with me the most. I love all of my supporters of this channel, but you guys are definitely pretty active. And if you want to join our community, we would love to have you consider subscribing to the channel. Into the unknown, card number seven, seven and seven here. And we know that wonderful things are about to happen when seven starts showing up in your readings for you or as synchronicities elsewhere in your life. I'll give you more information about that in just a second. And then you have the wishing well, which usually... This is about some sort of dream coming true, if you're brave enough. And you are. I'm hearing you are. I'm hearing you're going to go for it. All right, let's see what else we've got going on here. Anything else using the Enchanted Map Oracle message? Okay, I just realized you're not on screen at all here. We will zoom in just a little bit. There we go. So into the unknown and the wishing well. I just realized that you have three, four, five, six, and seven. No repeats up on the top car, uh, row here. But you have seven, four, and eight here. So 11 and eight. Oh my goodness. Anything else here, Spirit? Using the Enchanted Map Oracle message. I feel there's more coming out here. I'm hearing that something's looking you right in the face. It's right there in front of you. Look at this. She's reaching out. But it was this mask that drew my attention. And it's like, it's right there. You made the wish. Why are you turning away from it? Don't turn away from what you've asked for. Then you've got solitude just came out. Your ice, don't isolate yourself. Okay, spark and sacred pool. Oh my gosh, that's another seven there. So we have seven, four, then we have eight, and then we have 13, which is a four. Then we have th 34, which is a seven. And then we have 47. So look at all the fours, all the sevens. That's 11, that equals 11. Then you have the eight, and then you have the four and seven, which makes 11. So there is something... Um, everything is falling into place here early on, just like it's supposed to. All right, there is something that's going to come in here and ignite your passion for something. The solitude, I'm hearing <clears throat> a moment of solitude is fine, but do not isolate yourself. Do not isolate yourself. All right. And then tapping into the collective consciousness, using your imag imagination. Let's, there's something in there. So 47. Oh, and then Wishing Wells right after that. Oh, you got 47, 48. Okay. So this says, the world is a reflection of your thoughts, your feelings, and your beliefs. So embody the love that you wish to see in the world. This is about tuning in too, okay? When you look into the mirror, do you like what you see? This card is asking you to focus on self-love and self-esteem. Reflect by the sacred pool and be at peace with yourself. A detached self-examination made with rigorous honesty is called for at this time. Can you see how far you've come along in your life and how magical your life truly is? Do you notice the spark of the divine shining through your eyes? When you're conscious that you're the embodiment of spirit, it becomes easier <laughs> to act in guidance, in, in good conscience. Then you'll reap the greatest rewards. I'm sorry, I had to laugh because Caesar and Cleo literally just walked right past the window. And it was like he was peeking at us, but I didn't have it up there. Sorry. 
All right, so when you're conscious that you do embody spirit, it becomes easier to act in good conscious. Then you'll reap the greatest rewards. Your unique service to the world is not only needed, but celebrated. See the love within you and know that if you can cast it upon the waters, it will return to you tenfold. Be at peace, for you are beautiful and loved. Act with surety and confidence, and success shall be yours, whatever it is you are trying to do. That's that message for you. We are going to get you three yes or no answers here. <clears throat> One through five on the die is a no answer. Six through 12 is a yes answer. So if you want to reverse that, feel free. Answer number one, yes or no, is a seven, and that is a yes answer. You have 12, nine, three, and five. Sevens and eights in there. Woo, awesome, love it. Answer number two is a three. That is a no answer. You have seven, nine, and 12. Answer number three is an eight. Look at that, another eight and another seven. Eight is a yes answer. You've got 12, 7, and 9. All right, my lovely Libras, Crosswatchers, Channel fans. Until our energies cross again, I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.